Salute to Knicks Nation on this Tuesday night. Halloween it is, man. The Knicks getting scary out there in Cleveland as a rematch of last year's first round of the NBA playoffs was on hand. And the Cleveland Cavaliers, oh, they were talking spicy. They wanted these Knicks. They wanted to man up. Tristan Thompson talking spicy, Evan Mobley. But in the end, the Knicks big three. And my man, iHeart, I told you about iHeart, would send these guys packing, man. Donovan Mitchell and the Cleveland Cavaliers. No match for the Knicks, man. 101 to 91. Knicks lock in, try to get themselves back into a rhythm and take game one of the back-to-back home-and-home series against uh, a budding rival here, man, with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Yeah, feeling good, feeling good, man. Uh, you know, again, not concerned based on the, the early performance, but the, it's clear that this team is not in a rhythm yet. It's it's clear that they're still trying to, you know, get their feet under them, get their footing. Guys want to get on the same page between Julius and Brunson. We need our big two to get back on track. And so it was good to see them be able to do that tonight. I thought, you know, number one with Brunson, it was kind of a tale of two halves for him. Give credit where credit is due. That There's another play on the other side of the ball. I thought Isaac Okoro really did a good job of really harassing him from, you know, half court on and really putting a lot of pressure defense on him and making him work. And then the second half, it was more of the same, but Brunson's just making a lot more tougher shots, man. Just really getting into mm-hmm. his bag and and proving that uh, that better offense it can be better than better de- than good defense. So uh, give credit to Brunson there, man, for really stepping into his, his bag and and starting to get back on track. Uh, Julius, you know, had to tangle with a little a lot of single coverage. Dean Wade tried to cover him, and it, you know mixed bag in the first in the in the first half. But Julius started to settle down and get his shots in there. I thought RJ had a good first half. Better first, better approach in the first half than the second mm-hmm. half. And uh, I heart, I, I thought I heart was my play of the game, man. I was very mm-hmm. impressed with his two-way play. Scrap with Mobley down low. Had some turnaround jump hooks going down. You know, flash some offense. Mm-hmm. And I, I thought two as a two-way player, he, he was the best on the team tonight. So I got to give I heart the game ball. And, and just overall, just good to see the team uh, get a W on the first night of a back-to-back. I agree with all those points. But you also got to add Emmanuel quickly for coming on late, yes. man. Because yeah, yeah. Quickly, go win six. He had a slow start to the game. Defensively was okay. He started to pick things up in the second half, too. Uh, you saw Donovan Mitchell whenever he got switched onto him. Donovan Mitchell just has that speed, man. Really like a cheetah out there, just get to the rim at will. But then quickly, second half, starts to knock down some shots, starts off with a, a floater off the glass. And the next thing you know, he knocks down some big threes. And that really just sealed the deal for the Knicks, man. So outside, like with everyone that you mentioned, I think those were your big guys uh, tonight that really performed well. Thing with, I really don't like. I really I agree with you where everyone was just like getting into a rhythm. You see it like yeah. they're still just trying to figure everything out, man. Yeah. I mean, even Randall like got his 19 points. The one thing I like about Randall because I know some are gonna go at him and be like, well, it wasn't efficient. It was five for 14 from the field, okay from downtown, but he went. He got he hit seven of his 10 free throws, man. He recognized that. Look, my shot's not falling. I'm gonna do the next best thing, which is get to the line, be physical get downhill. He did just that. And no one was stopping him, man. Everyone just had to constantly foul him in order to play defense on him. And you got to respect that. And then, you know, same thing with Brunson. Brunson was able to show that he had better offense, but also got to the line four or five from the free throw line as well. That's what you want to see from your big two, because this is a physical team, man. And they overpower the Cavaliers yet again. The Cavs are just more of a finesse team. Knicks are just too strong for the Cavaliers. I know they were down Jared Allen. I know, uh, they were down. Who else were they down? They didn't have Jared Allen and they didn't have uh, Darius Garland tonight, but it doesn't matter, man. Didn't matter to me because I still think this team is too much of a finesse team and the Knicks, when they need to, they can go get physical and, and really take it to opponents. Um, surgical systematic road win tonight. Did what we had to do. Um, obviously, I heart, I think, has gotten to the point where he's He's pretty underrated. Um, he's played in every single game uh, as a Knicks so far. You know, like they said on the broadcast, you know what you're getting from him. His effort was supreme tonight. Um, he's just – tonight was one of his best offensive games, obviously. Um, just want to talk about it just a little – not to be a downer, but um, I'm, a, I'm a little 
bit worried about Josh Hart. He just doesn't look like the same. I mean, obviously, he still contributed in various ways, seven rebounds, three assists. He's still active. He still does what he does. The confidence on the shooting looks a little weird. Um, I don't know what it stems from. I remember when he got acquired by Portland, he played us the first game uh, when he was on Portland. It was a road game. It was a, if you remember, it was a horrible loss of the game we blew a couple of years ago. Um, and he was super confident in shooting the ball. And then if you fast forward to the, the next season, he was shooting the ball terribly before we acquired him. So it seems like something like his confidence ebbs and flows, but he just doesn't look right out there. He he played so ferociously when he when he when we acquired him at the end, uh, towards the end of the season last year. I'm just not seeing the same uh, element to him, but maybe he's just ramping himself up. But that's just kind of one downside. And then um, I thought Dante was solid tonight, man. Mm-hmm. He's not really in the numbers, but six assists. He passed the ball well. He was kind of active. Um, I know it, you know he's not a numbers guy, but I think he he fits in really really nicely with our team. Yeah. Um, and obviously, um, this was you know one of the better performances from Julius thus far. He looked more like himself. Um, and then last point, um, obviously be in the building tomorrow. Super pumped to get the sweep. Um, mm-hmm. Evan Mobley is baby thighs, man. He is soft. <laughs> he, he he is at, he, he he is crazy soft, man. You can't tell me. I mean, now he finished with six points, twelve rebounds, and five assists. But like, he had zero impact on this game tonight. He offensively struggles, man. So yeah. I think he is severely overrated. Um, but I'll let you guys let you guys go and uh, appreciate everything you do. And let's go get that sweep tomorrow night. Yeah, I appreciate the call, man. I mean, five five point seven boards, three assists for Hart tonight. One of three from downtown. Two of six from the field. You know, just just struggling to find his offense, man. For for him, it's got to come in transition and just getting those easy buckets, cutting to the basket, things of that nature. And if not, if the game becomes a very, you know, half-court oriented game, it gets it gets kind of muddy for him. Like tonight was the beginning of the dust pain. What that mean? A dust pain tomorrow. I'm looking for the broom in the back-to-back night, the night sweep. This is what I need. This is what I need to jump off the season. You know what I'm saying? It's starting to look like we got two road homes. One of them is in Atlanta, and one of them is in Cleveland. Now we're heading back to the crib. Let them see what it feels like to play back-to-back after playing, you know what I'm saying, in, in a building, in a hostile environment against a tough team. Tomorrow, we got experience because we did that with New Orleans coming off Atlanta. So we got a little experience of playing back to back. Handle your business and do what we got to do. I love what's going on with the team. Everything is starting to form up and coming to its place. We can't rush this thing. Things are going to format and get a whole lot better. This is Jalen Brunson's second year with the team, so he got more leadership. Now everybody, you know, all Julius about his offensive of scoring. Forget the offensive of scoring. Y'all know how Julius work out during the all season. He works out very hard. He hasn't had that time to do that because of the injury. But more importantly, the man got four straight double, double, double. Double, double. That's four back to back to back to back to back all together. And look at RJ. Damn, I'm going to jump straight out the window. I'm going to go ahead and put RJ up there in my top five right now, leading candidates for most improved players right now early. Because if RJ pop off like he's, like we all want him to pop off for them other for them other years, we're going to have a whole lot of good things happening for our team. You ain't going to be able to double up on Brunson like y'all talking about the call. We don't care about that. The Cleveland been trying to double up and We went through that last year. But if RJ is popping off doing what he's doing and Julius is learning how to read and he's willing to pass the ball, rock the ball, you know what I'm saying, do what he's doing, and Munster Mitch is still doing what he's doing and he's bigger and stronger, Hartstein backing him up, you know what I'm saying? We come on, guys. We still waiting on. We got patience for you. That's your spot. That's your two spot. You know what I'm saying? Coach gave you that last year. So we still waiting on you. But everybody is format. Dante is starting to get a little bit more relaxed in what's going on. IQ, you know, he's hungry. He playing for the Knicks and he playing for the he hold you for his paycheck. Everything is going to happen in a minute. Don't worry about Josh Hart. I know what's wrong with Josh Hart. You know, I was at, in the tunnel at the Atlanta game, hanging out with the squad and everything. Josh is just going through a little slight injury that he's playing through, you know what I'm saying? So everything is going to be all right with the team. But I'm waiting to see what's going to happen against this Milwaukee. Yeah, I think we were the first team that played on the ESP. Now we're the first team playing in this new tournament thing. I need to go outside Milwaukee's head. This is what I look like. I ain't worried about Philly no more. They don't 
broke up. They don't, we're more closer than about the past, really, and getting more closer to them top notch team. But now it's time to start proving to everybody that we here, you know what I'm saying? Just keep believing and having faith with the team. I'm trying to figure out how to find a way how to get to that Clipper game because y'all know PJ's my man, but the Knicks is my squad. So I might be up in that building Monday night, you know what I'm saying? But I want everybody to continue on doing what you're doing. Stay healthy, stay safe. More importantly, shout out to everybody in the chat. Keep rocking, keep doing what you're doing. And shout out to my brother Chuck D. In a minute, me and him going to release something for y'all. Salute, 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 three capital S's. J Boogie closes the show. <clears throat> hey, man, we got another one tomorrow. Knicks versus Cavs on the return match at MSG. So make sure you guys tap into that. Yeah, man, let's be, we'll be back here tomorrow, man, after a victory against the Cavs. There we go, man. Good show. See you guys tomorrow, man. CP out.